Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Dr. Rishi Desai, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Ryan Padres. Dr. Padres is a pediatrician and the assistant clinical professor uh, of pediatrics at Stanford University's Division of General Pediatrics. He's also the medical director at the primary school where he cares for patients and teaches pediatric residents and medical students at Gardner Packard Children's Health Center. Thank you so much, Ryan, for being with us today. It's great to be here with you, Rishi. So, Ryan, do you mind just telling us a little bit about your background and what led you to pursue a you know, career in healthcare, specifically within pediatrics? I think I was part of the, the class early on that was a more untraditional pre-medical student. I finished up really interested in health policy and economics, and after undergrad, went to D.C. thinking about Medicaid and our Medicare systems. And But it was there that sort of lit the inspiration for me to get more engaged in this work from a clinical perspective. And, and I was really inspired by those clinical on the ground leaders that were contributing to the systems change and policy work that could provide those perspectives of taking care of patients. And I thought those those perspectives were really important and I could see myself trying to do that work. So I had to go back, do all my pre-med classes and found my way into medical school where I, I then fell in love with pediatrics for, um, I think, the, the tenets of being able to help a child early on and the impacts that, of that long-lasting change in health, I think, really spoke to me. And I um, also really love working with parents. So it's, that's one of the secrets of pediatrics that people need to – it's not just the kids. It's working with the parents as well. Ryan, you know, we have a lot of folks in the audience that aspire to health careers. Uh, they probably look at a career like yours and say, hey, that sounds really interesting. You know, I wouldn't have thought of myself in that role. Do you mind just giving advice on maybe how you got to where you're going or where you're at and where you're going um, for someone that may be just starting their, their journey? I think some of the, our hardest health challenges um, or maybe some of the more most important questions that, that we need to address to help keep our community healthy, kids healthy, even adults, um, I think are going to be solved not within the walls of the clinic or the hospital is about how you sort of work in community in partnership with, with other organizations. Um, so that is something that I, I learned early on in my career uh, around this importance of interdisciplinary work. And, and so that's something that a theme that I've want to hopefully maintain through my career. And so I hope that there's more people aspiring in medicine that are going to medical school or, or graduating that, that, want to keep the same interdisciplinary lens to their work. They want to work across with the education sector, social services, community nonprofits, even our non-health government programs. Um, I think my time at the primary schools only fueled that belief and fire around the importance of that sort of inter interdisciplinary work. And I think that's how, that's how we're going to really move the needle on some of these health outcomes that we want to change. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.